It is day three, took me a second, of Gen Con 2022, and I have the pleasure of speaking with Michael O'Brien from Chaosium Inc., or as those in the know refer to him as Mob. They're my initials. That's right. And uh, thanks for uh, flying over from Australia, isn't that yeah, where you it came went? a very long way. First Fantastic. time since 2019, because, you know, yeah, no one was know. able to go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, for some strange reason, I, I don't know why we yeah, couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, there's a lot cooking yep. at Chaosium. And of course, everybody who visits thegaminggang.com and watches videos knows that I bring you a lot of content about Chaosium Inc. because it's one of my favorite role-playing game it's companies. wonderful to hear. Always has been. So you got a lot of stuff cooking. Yep. So let's talk about some of the new stuff and then we'll talk a little bit about some very recent okay. releases. Especially, we'll talk Call of Cthulhu, don't worry. First off, you've got a Pendragon Quick Start. We have, we, we've got a special Gen Con My exclusive. goodness, it's right here. Here it is. And it's a quick start of the new 6th edition rules, which we're going to be releasing next year. So here at Gen Con, you can get a printed copy of it. And this is a scoop, because we haven't really said this, this is going to be available as a free download on our website just after Gen Con. Okay. So if you didn't get to Gen Con and get a copy of this in print, you'll be able to download it in due course. And for those who may not be familiar with Pendragon, it is, uh, it's designed by the late, great Greg Stafford. Yep. It is uh, a King Arthur, Arthurian uh, setting. It is a very unique role-playing game because you have different, I guess I'll say virtues and vices that uh, you actually will have to deal with with your character. So you really will role-play Yep. In Pendragon. Greg Stafford did many wonderful things, but yes. he considers Pendragon to have been his masterpiece. Which is incredible seeing that the amazing work he did with RuneQuest and Glorantha. Yep. How, right there, that tells you this is going to be fantastic, so, the new 6th edition that's on the horizon. Greg, Greg sadly died in 2018. Yes. But he actually left the manuscript of the 6th edition. And wow. he said this is his ultimate edition so we're very proud to be bringing that out next year and you can get a taste of it with this kickstarter a quick start sorry quick yes start. yeah and then uh it's going to piggyback on that just a touch isn't is it i want to say it's paladin we do have a a, a variation right pen dragon called paladin yes and that is actually set in the court of Charlemagne. And that's a current product as well. Yes. Okay, so we talked about that. Uh, something that is a complete blast from the past as far as Call of Cthulhu is you've released a box set. It was successfully kickstarted. Just happened to have one right here. You are just way ahead of me, <laughs> I Bob. am. So yeah, uh, Call of Cthulhu is, was 40 years old last year. First edition came out in 1981, and to help celebrate that, we did a Kickstarter and reproduced a whole lot of the original material, which you can get in this. You feel how heavy that box is. Oh, oh my goodness. So we've finished the Kickstarter fulfillment. All the backers have now got their copies. Mm -hmm. and so if you didn't back it, now you can get yours. You can, but we've printed a limited number of these. And when they're gone, they're gone. So they actually went on sale for the first time here at Gen Con and on our website a couple of days ago. And they are disappearing quick. So if you if you really like one of these, I wouldn't muck around. Right. Act act now. Yep. And I will point out that when Call of Cthulhu came out, and that it was actually a little little narrower box. Uh, I, I had it. I have been actually running Call of Cthulhu since the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm old. The, the reason why this box is so big is because we actually put half a dozen of the original supplements in there as well. So you, it's, a, it's a wonderful 
a wonderful recreation of the glory days of the yes. first and second edition of Call of Cthulhu. I was going to say, don't say glory days overall, because I'm telling you, the latest edition of Call of Cthulhu is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. And there are two very recent releases for it. First off, let's talk a little bit about Cults of Cthulhu. Oh, I just happened to have one here. <laughs> so this is Cults of Cthulhu. And it's uh, by Mike Mason and Chris Lackey and Friends. It was released recently, and uh, we're very excited because at the Any Awards last night, it won the Any for Best Supplement. Hooray! There you go. I'm actually wearing an Any yeah, Award around my head right wearing now. the award. <laughs> so, this is a really interesting product because in 40, 40 years of the game, even though the game is called Call of Cthulhu, Cthulhu, the great Cthulhu himself, itself, hasn't really appeared no. in many scenarios right. or been forefronted. Well, finally, Cthulhu in this hefty tome gets Cthulhu's it's due reward. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a book that tells you about the different cults of Cthulhu. It has three scenarios, one set in the Gaslight era, one in the classic 1920s era, and one in the modern day. Mm -hmm. It even has uh, guidelines to create your own, in the game, we don't really want you to create a real Cthulhu cult, but in the game to create a Cthulhu cult as well. Right, and if you're curious what this looks like inside, I do have a first look video that yeah. uh, I will make sure that I throw a card up and it either goes there or there, I, I, don't, I don't remember. So, also, we have a time to harvest. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to be able to hold that one up, but I what don't is, have one handy. Is it sold out here? Uh, I think it is. Okay. Uh, we've also sold out of another book I'll talk about in a minute. A time to Harvest is a campaign set in the classic 1920s era. Mm -hmm. It involves uh, you as students and faculty of Miskatonic University, so that's really going back to the roots as well. Right. And it's about a ill-fated student excursion to the hills of Vermont. Ill-fated, that, uh, that is a term that's used quite often in Call of Cthulhu, in, in Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that is, a, that is a fantastic campaign available uh, in our website, in game stores, in distribution. A great thing is if you buy from Chaosium directly or from a friendly local game store that's part of the Bits and Mortar initiative, we give you the PDF included in the price uh, as well. Yep. And uh, if I remember correctly, if someone purchases the PDF alone from the Chaosium website because the physical book's not out yet, they will credit that yep. to you when, if and when you buy the physical book. That is absolutely right. So, uh, and also here at Gen Con, if you buy at Gen Con, um, we'll send you the PDF afterwards sure. as well. So yeah, it's a great way. Also on our website, we have a lot of the handouts and maps and things like that, and you can download all of those things too. Wonderful. Now, you said there was something else about Call of Cthulhu you wanted to mention. They're actually not Call of Cthulhu. We did another new release here at Gen Con as well for RuneQuest. Oh, yes, that's right, but it's also sold out. <laughs> it's our weapons and equipment book. It's a beautiful thing. I love the cover art. I love the way it looks inside. I wish I could pick one up and show it to you. But, what, it's Saturday here. I think they all sold out Friday morning. I that's, believe it. That's how popular they were. Sure thing. And, unfortunately, it just came out, so I can't <laughs> tell you to watch a first look video because I haven't, I've seen the PDF, yeah. obviously, but... Bob, what else do you want to chat about? Because uh, Chaosium's always got loads of fantastic stuff. We, we got lots going on. I, I will point out, I'm wearing a t-shirt that says Chaosium Coin. And earlier this year in April, we held our first ever Chaosium Con in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay. It was such a success and we had such fun. We've just announced we're doing it again. So next April, back in Ann Arbor, Michigan, we'll be holding the second Chaosium Con. And we hope as many Chaosium fans as there are can come and join us because it, it's, it's going to be great. Fantastic. Yes, Chaosium Con. Two. Absolutely. Coming soon. Well, spring. Yeah, April next year. Mob, 
what else do you want to share with our audience? Well, we have some other interesting things that will be coming out later this year. We've been working on a game based on the urban fantasy novels of Ben Aranovich called Rivers of London. Yes. It's, uh, actually, it's also a very popular comic series from it is, yeah. Titan, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. So uh, we've, we're working really hard on that game right now, and that is going to be released uh, later this year. And uh, Ben is very excited about it because, you know, he's having a role-playing game of made course, of Of course, right. He's actually, though, a great Chaosium fan from way back. So I can tell you that first meeting we had about Ben, about talking about the poss possibility of a role-playing game, he, he was sold straight away. So sure. That was very exciting. So, so that will be out later this year. That, so that's on the horizon. That's pretty exciting. Yep. Any final items you want to give a little extra love to? So... We produced, for the 40th anniversary, a book called Keeper Tips. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that one, I have not. Jeff? Okay, it's I, I have heard rumors of it, but no, I haven't seen it. We've, we've got a book called Keeper Tips. It's actually a small pocket-sized book. Okay. And what we did is we gathered together a whole lot of keepers, old and new. So some new people that are playing the game, going back to people who played it from the very beginning. Sure, you didn't ask me. I'm <laughs> We'll need you for Keeper Tips too then. <laughs> right, yes. And this book gives a whole lot of practical advice about uh, playing the game from 40 years of experience of, uh, of people playing the game. Because one thing that people who are not familiar with Call of Cthulhu, they, some of them are, are a little afraid to approach it but c because they've heard, oh, all the characters die in every game, and oh, it's you know, scary. And... It's, no. Uh, it's fun. There's like Pulp Cthulhu, so I mean, if you want to have the shadow, yeah, yeah, or, come or make or an more, appearance. Uh, Indiana Jones right. type, type sort of play. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a very versatile game. It it works really well for one shots, but you know we have some of the biggest campaigns of all time. Uh, Masks of Nihilathotep. That is 666 pages. We kind of did that deliberately, but and and I have a review of that as well, so you can check that out. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Yeah, it's a wonderful game. It's been our, going for 40 years, and it'll be going for another 40 for sure. And our cameraman today, Elliot Miller, uh, can affirm that I ran massive. I always pronounce it Nihilathotep when it came out and we ran it to completion well done would have taken a while i think it took and we played a lot every week it took us maybe six months wow yeah well you think you think right that is a lot of value out of uh, one book isn't it oh my gosh it was the box of course with mm -hmm. the booklets and everything yep well that's one of the aspects of role-playing games that i always explain to people too is there is so much entertainment and value packed in these books so when people say oh my goodness that book is fifty dollars it's like yeah but you're going to be playing that adventure using those that set of rules for a long time Absolutely. you go to the movie see a lousy movie and you take the family and it's 40 bucks right there yep and you're like why did we go see that movie yeah one and done yes hits you got stuff that can keep you going for a long long time yes yep. Mob, any final thoughts you'd like to share with our audience today? Well, I really appreciate that uh, Jeff does his in-depth looks at each of our books. So we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep making sure you get a hold of those so you can do them because one of a, a great way to convince people to buy a book is to have a good look inside it, and we really like the way that you show people what's there and provide a an honest assessment and review of the product so a lot of times with chaosium we'll do a, a live first look so if you watch the gaming gang dispatch you know about that and then you'll always get a standalone review video yep. so you get a double dip and and hopefully people feel that yeah, yeah, I'm not blowing smoke. I tell you what I think. No, if it's you, fantastic. You, you, if you it's say not. it the way it is. Yes. And we appreciate that. And I appreciate you continuing to make some fantastic role-playing game products. Well, thank you. Uh, the team really appreciates it. Uh, we have an amazing team of people at Chaosium. We're, we're actually all over the world. Our mm -hmm. saying is 
the sun never rises on Chaosium because there's always someone in from the Chaosium team in the dark. Hard at right. Work. I was gonna say it's not the sun never sets; it's it never it's rises. The sun never rises. Yeah. Mob, thank you so much for taking some time out here at Gen Con. You guys are super busy. We're off in a corner so that uh, we're not interfering with people picking up their chaos. Yeah, it's goodness. a busy booth. Yes. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, if that's the case, by all means, subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel by clicking right here. Check out the latest episode of the Gaming Gang Dispatch, or find out what YouTube recommends you check out from the channel. And of course, once again, I'm Jeff McAleer. Thanks for watching.